Yeah. So anyway, I think, uh, you know, getting, uh, I would like to have all 15 of them. It's kind of like, I'd like to have, you know, 15, 20 good uh, EV makers. Um, I'd like to have 15 or 20 good bot makers because it's going to take a lot of good bot makers to make the, the, the quantity of bots that the world will be thrilled. If, if you don't develop an, a, a bot with a, with real world AI, then it's not that useful. It's limit. It's of limited use. You can do a certain set of tasks with it, but you can't ask it to do something it hasn't done before. Um, and Tesla's going to. I I predict that Tesla will be manufacturing 100 million bots a year by 2035. By 2035, 100 million by 2035. 100 million a year, and maybe sooner than that. So how many? How many will they? How many will they produce this year? Oh no, I I don't expect I mean, any significant volume in the next year or two. I I think and there's a chance there, there's a chance that. I don't know, based on Elon and Drew's interaction, I think it's next year okay. that they will manufacture in some volume. Okay. Um, I, I think that there's, I think Elon sees what I see, what I see, and maybe Drew doesn't. This is just like my read on what I saw of the conversation. Um, I, I, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I'm trying to think I'm reading too much in that conversation. The I think that Elon sees that the real value is developing real world AI and real world AI is not something that you're going to develop just by being inside a factory training bots to do specific tasks. You've got to develop, you've got to expose the bots to diverse data. You train on diverse data, not, not uniform data. And keeping bots trapped in factories does not generate real world data, diverse data. You've got to find a way of getting them out there and not like, you know, I'm going to be, I'm probably going to be proven wrong but I'm confident I'm correct that this is the right path. <clears throat> Something like a bot beta program, getting it out to me and you and whoever, and we just take the bot with us wherever we go. And our bots climb stairs and my bot climbs a carpeted stairway and your bot climbs a, a tile stairway and somebody else's bot climbs a wooden stairway and they get used to different textures on the stairways. And, <clears throat> and you know, one of them gets on an escalator, you know, whatever. And, and people are like, oh, what about the liability? Like, well, a Tesla Model X Plaid weighs 5,300 pounds and goes 85 miles an hour on FSD beta. Um, the bot will go three miles an hour, weighs 125 pounds. Which one has more kinetic energy? If you happen to be a big fan of the Cybertruck, you might also be interested in this super fun Cybertruck refrigerator magnet and bottle opener. It is made out of super thick stainless steel, just like the Cybertruck. And it has this giant magnet on the back, so it's gonna hold a lot of stuff on your refrigerator. It's an amazing gift and it comes in that great gift box that you saw before. Uh, that uses a magnet opener, just almost like an Apple box, you know, like when you get Apple products. You can buy it on Amazon for $29.95, or you can buy it direct from me by sending $25 to paypal.me forward slash Randy Kirk, all in lowercase letters. Please indicate whether you want the stainless steel look, or maybe you'd like to have this <laughs> very clever camo version. And then if you're not in the U.S., please add $20 for freight. If you'd like more than one, please check the information below to get pricing, as well as all that information I just told you will be repeated in the information below. So once again, think about joining the channel, getting the up-to-date Tesla news every single day. I think you'll be glad you did.